Welcome to Thought for January 16. Our readings are taken from Genesis 28 and 29, Psalm 33 and Matthew chapter 18. And our thought is, it is necessary that... Certain things are necessary in our lives, such as clothing to wear and food to eat. Note how Paul made the point to Timothy, if we have food and clothing... With these we will be content, and there is great gain in godliness with contentment. 1 Timothy 6, verses 6 and 8. What hinders our contentment? Now, in the 18th chapter of Matthew, Jesus told his disciples, Woe to the world for temptations to sin, for it is necessary that temptations come. Verse 7. Why is it necessary? Wouldn't it be better if believers live protected lives without anything tempting us? Well, no, it wouldn't. When we make things, we test them to make sure they are strong enough to be used for the purpose for which we made them. It may be that some part will break off. If that makes it useless, then we throw it away. But often, even with a broken uh, part, there is still some good use for it. And that is the point behind Jesus' parable, that if your hand or your foot causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to enter life crippled or maimed than with two hands or two feet to be thrown into the eternal fire. Verse 8. We may have a special aptitude or talent, but if that is no spiritual value, but rather the opposite, then we should push it out of our lives. Let us make full use of the talents and opportunities we have and not fret about others and our failures and be in danger of being useless to God. Once again, our Psalms in reading Psalm 33 is also valuable because verse 10 refers to our time and it is very applicable. The Lord brings the counsel of nations to nothing. He frustrates the plans of the peoples. And so efforts to achieve peace between nations and peoples are getting nowhere, as are efforts to take action to stop or at least minimise global warming and even COVID-19. God is not only ignored, most push out of their minds any thought as to his existence. Does that influence you? Note the great truth of verse 12. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people whom he has chosen as his heritage. The words of Jesus we read and thought about illustrate the elements of behaviour that really count. But it is necessary that chosen vessels are tested as to their worthiness. Are you passing the test? May we all be among those whom he chooses. May we help each other to pass the test. Thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, remembering that they are a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.